you so much for staying tuned and for not going anywhere. We are back with this very important topic on femicide. Um, before the break, we talked about what femicide is and the rise in cases of femicide and how it's not in, how it's an important right now to point fingers, but we need to get to the root of the issue and actually deal with what is causing femicide. And one of the things that we saw, um, because this is a, a, a woman's show, of course, and we are born again, we believe that one of the major, major root causes of what is happening um, today is spiritual. It really is spiritual. It's a dart from the enemy, and we need to figure out how to counter it. Of course, we have our guest, Reverend Faith Bogonko, Karibu once again. Asante. Um, so let's go on with this topic. Uh, the next question I'll ask you is, how does femicide affect the society? Um, it could, you know, you could look at it as just another murder, just another life loss, but how does it affect us as a society? Number one, fear. Mm -hmm. Number one, fear. I'm a mother of daughters. Trust me, I'm praying, like mentioning names, you know, uh, just interceding. So, kuna that kafia. Yeah. Uh, another thing, we of course, it's making us ask our qu uh, many questions. Uh, mm -hmm. Where could we have gone wrong, and how can we write it? Mm -hmm. uh, another thing that is positive is that awareness. There is, there is an awareness that has been spread out that um, something is wrong and we need to do something yeah. about it. Yeah, mm. I believe that yeah. has helped a lot. That's yeah. true. Fear is, is, is something because, you know, I think, I don't know if this is what um, triggered my mind to start praying this over my, my baby. Because mm. I normally pray that you are not going to be a victim mm. of crime. Mm. Yeah, mm. in that time. Amen. Yeah. It's Amen. Not, it's, not, it's not your portion. Yes. Because, eh, when you're It's not, it's not it's, nice. It's not funny. Yeah. Now, when we think about society attitudes and gender roles and gender uh, socialization, do you think this has had a role in the issue of femicide? Because these are women who are being killed. Mm -hmm. Is it because maybe the men are not finding value mm -hmm. in their lives? Mm -hmm. And it's just a woman act. We, 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 can, we can easily get them, get rid of them. Or um, it's just a woman. What what the, are they bringing to the table anyway? What kind of society um, norms or I don't know how to phrase it, uh, ideologies mm -hmm. have played into this? There is a ka, ka truth somewhere. Yeah. There is a ka, There is something about it that 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 is true. Um, especially with with uh, with uh, the male gender yeah. that have not been exposed either to the word uh, salvation or even exposure in life. If you're still in your village mentality, stuck in the norms of a woman's place is in the kitchen. Uh, I'm concerned. Um, if you look at the way the woman is called in the traditional aspect, every woman, every woman, the name woman has got a derogatory term yeah, yeah. in almost every tribe. Where I was born, it means silence, mm -hmm. be silent. Mm -hmm. Where I am married, it means the cook. Mm -hmm. um, so the word woman, just yeah. that. So if somebody has not been exposed, either uh, by living the vicinity by books or by the word, yeah. there is something about a woman that has a woman that is educated, a woman that has been exposed, a woman that knows her rights, that sits wrong yeah. with a male gender that has not been exposed. Yeah. That is my personal opinion. Yeah. And so if this girl seems to know what she's, she wants, where she is going, she wraps them mm -hmm. off the wrong way. Yeah. And in retaliation, yeah. this could be just a tiny part of that, yeah. I believe. Yeah, I believe so too. I believe yeah. that this has somehow a, a role. Even yeah. if it's a small one, I mm. believe it's there. Yeah. But men are not, or some, not slowly, let me not say a few. a few, very, mm. very few <laughs> of them uh, are probably intimidated because like you said earlier, yeah. it's the brainier. Yeah. It's the it's the smart brain ones. it's the smart ones yeah. it's the it's the ones that know that the future is bright and then 
they are not like even in universities they are not the dummies yeah. they are the high performance they they are the ones who who really have it going yeah yeah, yeah. wow mm. that's very very interesting now maybe you can let us know what are some of the preventative measures mm. uh, women can take mm. to avoid being a victim <sighs> it, it breaks my heart that many of these cases mm. i don't think it's all of them but majority of these cases had a shilling attached to it um, there was communication uh, maybe a socialite uh, who was meeting this person that was going to give them this much money yeah. for this uh, so my concern is that we need to to help our girls be contented with what they are it's uh, contentment is is so important they need to to learn to say in this season of, of my life i have one pair of shoes and one purse and one ear one set of earrings i'm good yeah. i will work for myself yeah. it's to enjoy their own sweat um, not to be lured because of these things because this get rich get rich quick scam yeah. is is just like another pyramid mm -hmm. but unfortunately leads to death yeah. Um, so we could train our 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 daughters to just be contented with what they have. Um, number two, we just go back to the word. Yeah. If we could teach our children the word of God to learn to walk with God. Yeah. Uh, another thing we need to 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 teach them about um, dating in numbers. If, if you're meeting somebody, because many of them are very lonely, so if you're going to meet somebody, you want to start a relationship, don't go alone. Yeah. Don't go alone. Don't go to an apartment. Don't go to somebody's house. Don't go to somebody yeah. somebody's house. Historia kusema apana apana ndio. We land you in a mess. Don't 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 meet somewhere that is not open. You know me, I'm so old school. My husband and I dated. At Central Park. Mm. That's oh, where yes. we used to meet. Nakete mm. <laughs> and then we would go like two couples. So the other couple is seated over there. We are seated over here, uh, oh, and then tutapatana to Ombe, alafuende kukula chipo Luduli Avenue. So basically, that's where we would meet, and that's where we would part. Of course, this is a um, 21st century. Uh, it behooves me if my daughter would <laughs> if I would tell my <laughs> daughter when the central park <laughs> but if if they could meet in a coffee yeah. shop in a in a, oh in a restaurant goodness. and then don't go alone especially on the first second third date get to know this person um pole pole there is no hurry so uh, there's safety in numbers there's safety in numbers be your sister's keeper yeah be your brother's keeper that will also help a lot that's true mm. uh, very briefly uh, this would be the last question because our time now in Nakimbia Sana uh, victims of femicide of course unfortunately it's a murder so the person yeah. has passed away but she's mm -hmm. left people behind mm -hmm. what kind of support could be offered to the people they have left behind because I feel like when you lose someone to murder yeah it's it, it hits different. different. It hits different. Yeah. yeah. Number one, please don't blame yourself. Mm -hmm. You've done your best the way you could to bring up that child. And the devil is the one who has really caused this to happen. So don't blame yourself. And we also should not blame them. Yeah. Um, but secondly, they don't need to be told if only you had, you could mm -hmm. have. That is the wrong place. Your haina suluhisho. There is absolutely that track. Your root haina dawa. So they need as much encouragement as possible, and not just now, long term. Many will need professional counselling because there, there are more questions than answers. Um, there is need for prayer and just covering them. I I I would want as as a society to not be remember the story of the good samaritan let's not be like the levite who walked out and picked his garment and tiptoed away let us go to that person and bind their wounds and then pay for that and take care of them just take time 
this is not a situation where unaweka tu kai last or plus you don't just like eh hey, ati alafu kaendaje wa mm we pole pole and then you disappear this needs a walk a stay in a sleepover it needs family needs to be um to feel sincere love from us at every given angle spiritually and physically being there they need that yeah. yes wow um like i said earlier our time is somewhat spent but if you are watching us and maybe you've been a victim um or you've been in a situation that was a bit compromising a bit iffy um this is the call to action especially for ladies please watch yourself be as reverend faith for one has said go with power in others go if you're going on a date go with someone else especially if it's the first second or third date there's power in numbers don't go to anybody's hotel room don't go to anybody's airbnb or apartment go somewhere public please do take care of yourself but most importantly have a relationship with the holy spirit mm-hmm. the holy spirit will, will guide, guide you, you. that's will right you. he will not lead you into traps mm. he, will not, he will affirm you he will tell you mm. he will show you things that you don't know mm. so have a relationship with the holy spirit that is the safest safest relationship you can have first before any other relationship thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for coming that's all the time we had we'll see you same time same place next time have a great rest of your week bye bye